good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome project so let's get cracking good day everybody this is a free print in place robot as you can see i have made mine a detroit lions robot and i've already printed it i will show you that in a minute let me show you some features about this little robot so if we zoom in underneath here, it is completely built with Tinkercad. As you can see, it's going to bend right here, right here. Of course, the entire legs stand up back at this spot. The arms spin. Let me show you how that works. Right now, I'm going to hit T for transparent so you can look in there and see all those little gaps and holes that I've added. So that this guy completely moves after he prints. I also did some fun stuff right here with the head. If you hit T for transparent, it is completely hollow. I've got a special little cross part in there to make that bottom stronger. You can see those little wedges. Your slicer should print those even if it was normally trying to print it hollow. And then finally, we've got holes that are the exact same size as filament. So when you're done, you can add awesome eyes to it. Now finally, since I wanted mine to be a Detroit Lions project, I put the Detroit Lion on his chest. If you're interested in the logo technique, I do have a tutorial. You'll be able to check up in the cards and track that down to add anything you want to the chest of your robot. I have also added built for this, which is the Lions logo right now, and of course, one pride which is a twitter hashtag so friends let me show you how to assemble this once you've put whatever you want could be words on the chest i'm going to shut off transparency to add your parts you would just put the work plane right here and add them i'm going to hit w for work plane and put it back i have no need to group that chest piece it'll just print fine but i do want to group these words so i'm going to shift select shift select the body and do Control g to group so that the words are cut in. I'm also going to make sure the file shows up for you without transparency. When you are done building and adjusting your little robot, you do need to export it as an STL. I will warn you that this little dude is pretty complex and takes a moment to export. I'm also going to remind you, you could ungroup these feet and put your own phrase there as well. When it's ready, it'll pop up like this. You can pick your location. I always put mine in my 3D modeling folder. This is going to be the Lions robot. And then because I have made a bunch of these, because I keep tweaking it i'm going to put the date on it so this is 10 19 23 and finally i'm gonna hit save friends when you're done modifying yours don't forget to change the settings you can pick an awesome background color i'm gonna go with a lion's gray then i'm gonna switch back here and shut off that grid and close the settings there you go friends an epic 3d printable tiny robot if you want to show the world, don't forget it is so easy. Just return to the Tinkercad desktop. Click up here on this gear. Change the properties. Make sure it has a name. Of course, mine is going to have the tutorial pasted here in a minute. And ways that you can reach out to me. Of course, don't forget your tags. If you want me to see what you made, please add the tag HLMT23 and press enter. I check that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction then make the design public and then if you want to share your design you may of course also you can click attribution no derivatives i like to pick that most often because i want you to come up here find the tutorial and gain some epic skills when you're all done hit save changes of course you may have to prove you're not a robot friends when you're done with that if you check the gallery shut off the staff picks after just a few minutes your design will be visible of course friends if you click on it don't forget those reactions are appreciated speaking of reactions check out this cool project that is absolutely awesome love the basic shapes gonna give it a wow if you ever want to see all the projects somebody has created you can click right on their user name you'll be able to see all of their designs of course if it's one of mine don't forget those reactions are appreciated and there's likely a tutorial in the description if you want to see what's more recent you can instantly switch just like that finally friends let's take a look at how this little guy turned out when he was 3d printed
All right, everybody, let's check this out. We have got our cool little robot. As you can see, these things pop off super easy. That is the spot that has the most area. So it was fastened down just a tiny bit, but check it out. We have almost instantly got an awesome little flexible robot. You can see he sits extremely well. With a little bit of practice, you can get him to stand pretty efficiently. Of course, he's got his awesome One Pride logo. Head spins, arm spins, head spins. I'm going to put some filament in there so the eyes pop. And the legs bend super well. So he can sit on your desk or your monitor. As you can see on the back, also got the built for this logo. And of course, we wrap up with One Pride. And friends, there you can see a little bit of red filament popped in there. Of course, friends, I'll make sure this file is available in the description. And he's also just as at home sitting on top of your computer monitor. So friends, in wrapping up, I just want to remind you about my website with all those awesome categories. Of course, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. And of course, friends, do not forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to remind you about the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have got a ton of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.